What's up everybody, it's Rusty Clutch here and welcome back to Pikmin 2. In today's episode, we are entering the Frontier Cavern. So like I said, fresh start in today's episode. We entered right at the end of the last one. And we are already surrounded by a lot of things that I'm a little scared about. So we're going to put the Pikmin here real quick. Does anything fall from the sky? No, perfect. Okay, cool. All 100 of you will sit in this corner and hopefully not die. Alright, does anything fall from the sky here? Okay, so there's these white, um, there's these snowy white bulb orbs. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but uh, they're basically just regular bulb orbs. Like, nothing too, too scary or fancy about them. Uh, switch to the whites, throw the whites back. Um, <coughs> Should only be purples and reds. That's what I want. Okay, cool. So we have purples and reds. We're going to go with the purples first. And just chuck them right on top of them. Stun them. And you should be good to go. So we're going to swarm these uh, little mini dwarf, dwarf bull orbs. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. What's wrong with you, homie? He killed one of the reds. All right, this is already off to a terrible start. Oh God, no, not a doodle bug, not a doodle bug, not a doodle bug. I'm not ready for him. I'm not ready, 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 I'm not ready. Ah, no, no. Oh God. All right, smack him one more time. Smack him one more time, smack him one more time. Oh gosh, he's right here again. He's right here again. <laughs> oh God, oh no. Just gotta call him. Just gotta call him. Okay. I didn't know there was two. I'm getting so many sprays. This is insane. Okay. So I honestly thought right now for a quick second, I was like, what if I just reset? You know, I lost a red pigment on the first floor. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, bruh, look at how many sprays are here. I'm getting one, two, three, four, which I'm actually getting eight because spray dupes. And, um, you know, because that's, that's how I roll, you know? And there we go. We are now up to 12 Ultra Bitter Sprays, which I can't remember the last time I had 12 Ultra Bitter Sprays in my possession at one time. Are we going to take him back just because, uh, I don't know, just because <laughs> I want one of them? It's kind of like a trophy thing. It's like uh, kill them, and I, I, you know, I get to keep one, I guess, or whatever. It does suck that I lost a, uh, a red, but we are going to come across uh, flowers. Uh, there's gonna, definitely going to be rest floors here, so I'm not too worried. Plus, red is the one that I have the most of. It's the one I have the most Pikmin of. So hopefully that uh, comes in handy later on. So killed him. Uh, there shouldn't be anything else but uh, a couple more dwarf bull orbs in this area. At least I think. I'm going to leave my Pikmin over here just because I'm a little paranoid. And this blue Pikmin is like just chilling in the wall. I don't know why he's over there by himself. So I'll stay right there with the captain, with Olimar. While I come explore real quick. Oh! That's him. Okay, so that doodle bug right there is important because I... Uh, there's a... Okay, so there's two items. One is inside the doodle bug and one is underground. So I'm going to grab these white Pikmin. Um, and no. Not you. Grab these white Pikmin and take care of that. Just gotta find wherever he scurried off to. He's, he's hiding somewhere. Uh, or I can have... Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll grab this one for now. But I'm pretty sure that the doodle bug had a, an item in him as well. I'll leave that for now, let me see if I can find this doodle bug. Hey buddy, where are you at? Home slice? Because uh, he was like, I heard him like, you know, kind of sneaking up on me. Or creeping up over here near me. Uh, let's see, maybe, I'm not too sure if it like despawns it and spawns it in somewhere else. But, I am looking for it. Uh, let's get the purples real quick. Because I did see another bulb orb over here somewhere. 
in this little cave. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, is it in here? Is there... Oh, okay. There's something hidden in there too. <laughs> Interesting. Come here. No, not him. We want the item that's inside this cave. I don't know what it is, but we want it. I honestly thought it was the doodle bug. That, so that means there was three potential instances of me hitting like the jackpot with the doodle bug. Which is pretty amazing. If you think about it. Uh, give me some of these back. Gonna finish digging this up. Hopefully nothing falls from the sky. I'm ready to call them if something does. And uh, let's see. It's like a little ornament. I'm pretty sure I made something similar like this in grade school for my mother when I was like, I don't know, kindergarten. I have like a little ornament that kind of looks like that. The essence of rage. Okay, I like that. Yeah, this looks like a little ornament. Um, I forget what we made it out of, but it was like a it was like a little clear ball, and we put like uh. It was like really thin string all the way around it, and then we got to write our name on it. It was pretty cool. But yeah, should be the last item on this floor, hopefully. And then we will have tackled the first floor of the Frontier Cavern. It's like a disco ball. The essential furnishing. I don't know if it's very essential to furnishing, but it's it's nice. All right, so let's uh, let's get on out of here. I still can't believe I got four hits on the... Well, I'm surprised that two doodle bugs popped up like that right next to each other. Um, but I'm surprised I got four of the ultra bitter sprays. Because the spicy sprays are great and all. Like, if you're low on Pikmin, you need like a stronger attacking force. But, like, nine times out of ten, it's better to freeze the enemy and then just use the Pikmin that you have. Like, I don't know. Like, that just makes more sense to me. So, I, I'm, like, really happy that all of those were bitter sprays. Um... Let's come over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the Pikmin right here to hang out. Just, uh, I don't know, Mingo or something. You don't have to be lonely at farmersonly.com. Dead. Okay. Alright, next one right here. And then it's gonna go right here. And we're gonna punch you. And. Cool. All right, I can probably take him out. I think I can take these guys out by myself. Yeah, it's just a couple more punches. Dead. And then have you hit this little guy right here. And also dead. Okay. I'm just trying to strategically use my enemies to my advantage here. Like I said, we're gonna see. We we're gonna see a lot more of the uh, <laughs> of these of the uh, armored cannon beetles and we need to use it to our advantage All right I think I'm just gonna kill you out of spite now because you bit me oh uh, all right cool uh, yeah that works too hey shoot another one right here buddy oh yeah this is the Christmas floor I just, I, I just realized that there's like all this Christmas themed stuff oh son of a gun all right, we're gonna we're gonna have to kill you with my super macho punches. You see how his fist like pops out whenever you throw punches? It's pretty insane. All right, and then hey, over here, hey buddy, Opalo, right here, shoot one this way. Cause then he shoots it, and then I get like right here, and I just keep smacking him, and I can kill him myself. Now, it's just, you know, when he when he shoots the rocks, it just makes it easier for you to get a couple extra hits in. I know. You, I know what you guys are thinking. Wow, Sal, you, pay, you play the most cautious game of Pikmin 2 ever. And, yeah, and to that I say, yes, I'm a very cautious turtle. Oh. <laughs> it's like he smacked me and it killed him. You know, it's pretty, pretty cool. I'm that powerful. Um, but, yeah, we're going to come over here. I don't think there's any other enemies over here we just need you to kill yourself so 
So I need to have him shoot a rock and then immediately stand behind him. And the rock will come straight back and hit him. There we go. Dead. Cool. So yeah, I think there's a chest piece up here if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's an enemy. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, there's no, there's no item up here. So I don't even need to worry about that enemy. Cool. Just going to go through with my Pikmin and grab all my treasures. And we'll be done with this floor. I'm probably thinking of a different one because there is another floor. I don't know if later on in this one or just later on. Uh, but there is a floor where it's got like that winding path upward. And there is a chess piece up there. It's pretty nice. So let those guys take uh, that little ornament. It's like a little shoe. A little boot shoe. Boot scoot and boogie. And then this present. Who doesn't love presents? And then... There's a little alcove there. I don't know why, but not necessary. And yeah, pretty sure those are the only two things that we can find on this cave, unless there's something hidden over here by this uh, by this snowy. I believe they're called snowy bulwarks, um, which was like I, which was also the last bulwark that we needed to encounter to, you know, complete our Piclopedia. This is the icon of progress. Don't know. Why would it be the icon of progress, but it is. And then, yeah. Just gonna wait for this present to get back. I really wish I could just, like, throw a purple pigment on it and, like, break it and see what's inside. Because, you know, hey, is it a good present? Is it a bad present? You never know. But it's a present, and it's, you know, good wrap. This reminds me of, like, the wrapping that my girlfriend does. Because for Christmas, she gets down. Um, I'm, you know, I'm a, per a perfectionist. Uh, this is joy receptacle, which is good. Uh, but I'm a, I'm a perfectionist, so my wrapping comes out, you know, fairly decent. And I think that's why I'm good at wrapping for Christmas. But my girlfriend's just like really creative, so like she does these weird fold things, and it makes them look all professional. Don't know, but it's it's pretty cool. I I, I picked up some stuff from her, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, wrapping gifts at Christmas is probably one of my fun, my favorite things to do near Christmas because I usually take like something that's like small or medium size and put it in a giant box and then, you know, use a whole bunch of wrapping paper that's unnecessary. And then it's like, you know, a small little gift card or something inside a <laughs> 10 gallon box or something stupid. Oh God. If there is, uh, he's right there. Okay. Um, purple Pikmin, purple Pikmin. All right, kill him. Now, purple Pikmin again. And kill this one. All right. Now, where is he? Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Okay. Leave these here. He can't walk over the wall, can he? I know that in some I know that in some he can okay while he's there we're gonna go over here oh my gosh I think I have him trapped perfectly I think I have him trapped perfectly so we're gonna do that smack this little one right here and kill this little one and then take him take him boys take him back take him back to the no don't go that way you're gonna zap and die i i seriously lucked out there uh because the pikmin were attracting him through the wall <laughs> and so oh why am i so lucky why am i that lucky i don't know but thankfully i am so we're gonna we're gonna take our prey back just because you know just because yeah just because. I think these guys give us three coins anyways. That'll add to our grand total. Two coins. That, Whatever. <laughs> Close enough. I always get really freaked out with the bull bears because, you know, like you have to attack them head on. And I don't think they have a limit to how many Pikmin they can eat at a time. So they could literally eat all of your Pikmin if they wanted to. But luckily he got stuck on the wall. And for some reason his AI is so stupid he didn't see me walk around. But this is the danger time. Which... Hey, whenever there's danger, just, you know, give it a little ring and we're good to go. 
So, uh, I think uh, I think I'll be fine here to separate my Pikmin. So I'm gonna grab the yellows real quick. Take care of these electricity gates. Uh, just cause I'm kind of paranoid. Don't want to lose anything to these gates. Uh, there is a bulbman right there. And as you can see, there's only one bulbman, which is kind of weird that there's only one. But if you think about it, the max that I can have is 100 Pikmin out. So, like I said, there was going to be an opportunity for us to get some Pikmin back. And part of that was the fact that I... Um, and part of that is basically that uh, this bulbman right here. Uh, oh my god, I'm going to use this to my advantage again. I'm going to put him right here. And give me the throw Pikmin. Is uh, that there's only one. So the reason there were so many in the subterranean castle is because we, you know, we were able to have that many Pikmin. Like, uh, you know, we had space for that many Pikmin. But because we only have space for one more Pikmin in our party, there's only one Boltman. So he's just going to chill with us. He's going to help us out along the journey. He's kind of just chilling along for the ride here. But uh, he can help. Like he can help fight this little dwarf bulbor. Which these red one or these black ones are actual dwarf bulborbs. Oh god. Is there any around the corner? Okay, I did not see the second one around the corner, so that's very good that he didn't eat anything. Uh this is a candle that I put thirty on for some reason. Uh, and there's nothing else. So I don't think there's anything else on this floor unless there's... Cause they did give us white, a white flower. So leads me to believe that they give us a white flower for A, the poison gates. Or B, uh, there's something hidden underground somewhere. Which so far doesn't seem like it. And we'll find out right now after this, uh, this item. Well, or this treasure. We'll see if the, the gauge goes away or not. So this is the fleeting art form. What's just interesting is I'm pretty sure that's like a metal bottom, which, uh, and all of my, oh, yep, there's something else. In all of my experience, I don't think I've ever had a candle that has metal bottom. There's also a geyser here in case you want to chicken out early on, which, uh, that's definitely not us. So why would we chicken out? So I haven't seen any, uh, I've seen an item yet above ground, so I'm going to grab my white Pikmin and just kind of glance around everywhere, or just walk around until I hit an item. Gauge is going up, gauge is going up, uh, gauge is going down, up again. Uh, okay, so it's got to be somewhere around here. Oh, is it? Is it literally? No? Okay, cool. It's literally right next to the poison gate. Cool. Hopefully this item doesn't take more than 10 to carry, which it probably will, because it looks like it's big. Oh no, it's a ring. We're chilling. Pretty sure a ring is 5 or 7 or 10 or 12. Something like that. Uh, yeah. And really these poison gates are set up like this. Like in weird areas. Just the, the main idea of this floor was the the uh, the black bulwark. The, I forget what he's called. <laughs> but the big, you know, the big giant ladybug. That was the main idea of this floor. Oh, it's 5. Cool. Uh, and so like that's why it's a maze and that's why there's just hazards just sitting everywhere because they're trying to screw us over which I think I'm going to throw uh, because I have more reds than anything I'm gonna throw one the one bulbman that I got <laughs> and then four reds this is the gemstar husband so that's everything so yeah I'm gonna throw my reds okay now not the purples uh, purple stay away and there and then Olimar I need uh, I need the bold man where is he at oh there he is okay go over there choo choo okay I'm gonna have the bold man just cause you know it just makes more sense to convert the bold man first because I can't actually take him to the surface with me so for these whites and I really do, I don't know because white, whites are great and all, but they don't really have a purpose beyond. Like, the reason I, I need to have at least 100, uh, I think I've explained this before. I need to have at least 100 purple Pikmin at some point because there is an item that takes 100 purple Pikmin to lift. 
but uh, whites, I don't ever need more than like 20 of them, I think, or 50 of them. So I don't know if that was a waste or not, but we shall find out in later floors. And I say later floors because that is the end of this episode. As I break down this uh, fire geyser real quick. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to throw Pikmin on it, and they got it. Cool. So, yeah. So, that is the end of today's episode. So, thank you guys so, for, so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, make sure you give it a like. And I know that uh, the series is pretty long, but, uh, you know, I'm enjoying it. And, like I said, the new series is coming out pretty soon. Um, once we're done with these two caves, we just have the final area, which the final area is probably one of the most interesting areas because it's a culmin It's like a... I would say just a cluster of, of everything that we've learned up to this point, you know, thrown into one area, which is pretty good. Pretty cool. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.